Good evening, everyone. Just getting set up here. Glad to see there's a few people waiting already. Hey, Heather. Is uh, everybody hearing me okay? Do we have sound? Yes, we have sound. All right. So Jace is just uh, resting for a moment, waiting uh, for more visitors. Uh, somebody earlier had suggested another live stream and I had actually planned a master's battle, but the LGS was all out of packs. So I thought, why not take one of everything and see what cool stuff we get? A full art Armand Kett Island. Um, I'm aiming a little higher. I'm aiming for a couple of invocations. Uh, we'll get an expedition from BFZ, maybe from Oath of the Gatewatch. Uh, maybe we'll get a, actually we can't get any fetch lands, I don't think. Oh, we've just got a Dragons of Tarkir. Um, there's no Modern Masters 17. The only Masters set we have here is Eternal Masters. And MTG Asher. Yeah, I'm not sure. I um, This was the first scheduled uh, live stream that I was setting up and I wasn't even sure if anyone would be able to see it, it wasn't clear that it was going to notify anybody. So I may have missed a setting for that, I'm not sure. But I also have my laptop here so I can see the comments a little easier. And mutilated slot says one masterpiece from each set, that's the plan. Um, yeah, Kaladesh Inventions would be good, or Aether Revolt. Is this a giveaway? No, it is not a giveaway. Absolutely not a giveaway. However, there will be a sneak peek at some point on what the next giveaway will be. And Ben is anxious to get started. Uh, yes, there is an Aether Revolt. All right, so Jace, say hi to Jay Shing. He missed you, buddy. He wanted you back. And he will stare into your soul. Okay, so people wanting to be mods. Let's see. <clears throat> see if I can get this set up. <coughs> So Ben, you should have the spanner. Do you have the spanner or the wrench? Who else do we have? Let's see, add moderator and we'll add another moderator. Okay, a couple of the regulars. All right. Okay, so mods, we have Ben, MTG, Asher, and Jay Shing. So 
keep the uh, rowdy rabble in line if they're causing trouble. And I don't see Fifth Moon here, so he may be disappointed, but we'll get cracking. All right, I've made you guys wait long enough. And if you're watching this after the fact, you may want to skip over the boring preamble. You didn't miss anything. All right, so I will run through the packs. We have Return to Ravnica, Gate Crash, Dragon's Maze, everybody's favorite, Theros, Journey into Nyx. Next pile, we have 2014 Corset. Dragons of Tarkir, 2015 corset, Magic Origins. Yeah, I'm trying to do these from oldest to newest, just showing you. We'll talk about the order I open them in a minute. Uh, BFZ and Oath of the Gatewatch, Shadows of Innistrad, Eldritch Moon, Kaladesh, Ether Revolt. And in the last pile, we have Eternal Masters, Armin Kett, Hour of Devastation, and Ixalan. I am making an executive decision. This one will be last, um, just because it's more expensive than all this other stuff. All right. So, next question for you guys is, where do you want to start? And Heather says, some of these are new to you. Um, you only have enough for one deck. Yep, well, this is pretty much why I did that. I came on the scene... I came on the scene at Armanket. So, Armanket, Hour of Devastation, Ixalan. And then I've been working my way back through history, catching up on all the older sets. <clears throat> so, we have one vote. For Ixalan, Ixalan, Ixalan. Any other takers for Ixalan, or we want to start at the older ones, or I'll mix it up and just pick things randomly. What do you think? Any more votes? Uh, Mutilated Sloth says old. Okay, so how about this? We'll do. New to oldest, older, okay. I'm going to open Ixalan because we've got a few votes for that. And then the oldest set here, I think, is Return to Ravnica. So I will crack that open. And we've got a Evil Jesus in favour of a random openings. Okay, so let's, um, let's roll a die here. Um, so 1 to 10 will be Ixalan. And what did we get? We got 16. All right. Yeah, pretty much do whatever. I'm going to open all these anyway. So what did I pull? I didn't pull anything yet. You have just come at the right time. I'm just about to open Return to Ravnica. So let's see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to go through these. Uh, all, a lot of this stuff is new to me, so bear with me. So Inspiration, Druid's Deliverance, Ethereal Armor, Pursuit of Flight, Trans Guild Promenade, Cobble Brute, Vassal Soul, Sundering Growth, Grim Roustabout, all right, that's interesting. Let's see here. Towering Indrik. And uh, Uncommons. We have a Oak Street Innkeeper. Um, what I'll request, if anybody can do the value game, I could look these up. Um, on the laptop, but I might bore everybody. So if anybody's got um, TCG player or MTG goldfish up and running, um, yeah, do some value checks. That will really help. Uh, Gobbling Ooze. Rat 
Dos Kekla He's almost like a um, thorny goblin sort of guy. And so what is this? Return to Ravnica. Chromatic Lantern. So I have heard of this card, but I'm not sure. Did I hit the jackpot or did I get hosed? Brian says about 10 bucks. That would be very cool. And what else we get here? So a chromatic lantern is the rare. If we can have a price check on that. And a swamp. That's an interesting. Reminds me of that Ultima Underworld game. The uh, dark tunnels, underground lairs. Um, US dollars. Yeah, I actually live in the US, so despite the accent, yep, US dollars would be perfect. Hey, Fifth Moon. So we just just pulled a chromatic lantern from Return to Ravnica. I uh, didn't miss much. This was just the first pack, and we're doing price checks. So curious what the chromatic lantern goes for. Uh, Richard, hey Richard, you're pro newest to oldest. Okay, we had a bit of 50-50 there. I ended up doing a die. Um, we have Ixalan and Return to Ravnica are the first two. Um, MTG Asher, welcome back. Somebody's waiting for their tablet to load. <clears throat> so what was the... We had a chromatic lantern. Let's see here. Should be a bit more organized. Chromatic lantern, return to Ravnica. Whoa, okay. So, this one, $12.93. I'd say that qualifies as jackpot for an older set like this. Okay, next up, Ixalan. Okay, everyone getting too edgy? Oh, I need a, I need a mod here. Fifth Moon, add moderator. Okay. Thought that was a lotto card from RTR. It might be, actually. That's pretty decent value. Okay, excellent. Suncrown Hunters, Vampire Zeal, Dead Eye Tormentor, Sure Strike, Deep Root Warrior, Siren Lookout, Paladin of the Bloodstained, Blinding Fog, Contract Killing, Cancel, and let me pop back i'm missing the comments here is there chaos in the comments okay uh steadfast armor saw charter course so these these ones if you're not familiar what i'm looking at here um the symbol in the side here for you newer players that means it's an uncommon if it's just black then it's a uh, common so these are the Uncommons Charter Course, Atzakan Archer, what's it going to be? Uh, Entrancing Melody is the rare. So the rare is the gold symbol there. And I'm thinking this is probably, what, 20 cents or something? And planes and some treasure. Has anyone put together a treasure deck? Forty nine cents or forty five cents. Okay, what's Heather? What's the dollar seventy seven? Is that in a different currency other than US dollars? Okay, so yeah, it's really not worth talking about. All right, next. Where do we want to go? I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to 
uh, do piles of lotto cards. Hey, good deeds. Welcome. I'm going to have these guys, lotto cards. Lotto cards here. Uh, nothing really there. And lotto cards here. So I'll do these separately. All right. So we've got an M, a vote for M15. Where's M15? Here we go. So, Good Deed says Arm and Cat. All right, how about we do this? So, I'll set the lotto cards behind here. Uh, Eternal Masters will be the last one. Jace, stand up, mate. You can't. It's too early for that. Okay, let's go for a 2015 core set. And then after this, I'll do Arm and Cat. Let's see if we can pull an indication. Um, for those who came in late, we pulled a chromatic lantern from Return to Ravnica. Okay, M15, Razor Foot Griffin, Aeronaut Tinkerer, Crowd's Favor, Kinsbale Skirmisher, Siege Worm. <laughs> yeah, Jace, Jace has had a bit to drink. I did as well, actually at an anniversary celebration over the weekend. So yesterday was not a good day. Um, Siege Worm, Unmake the Graves, Naturalize, Pillar of Light, Mind Sculpt, and uh, Uncommon is a Sunblade Elf, Paragon of Gathering Mists, Warden of the Beyond, uh, what's the money card in M15? You're grabbing a beer for me. Thank you. All right. Caves of Quelos. So, price check, please. Ooh. Ho, ho. A foil. Rare. That's pretty cool. And good deeds. Is all set with his beer. So, Caves of Corlos, I like the Resolute Archangel, the um, foiling on that, really nice. So, let's see what we get here. Caves, 60 cents, okay. And the Resolute Archangel, doo -doo 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 -doo. Andrew is a dollar thirteen. Is that in foil? Yes, that is foil. Okay. Oh well, still like the card. It's pretty nice. Okay, and then let's crack open Arm and Cat. Okay, yep, we're getting some good pricing there. Buy Fifth Moon. This will be waiting for you later. Be able to plow through it. TCG player prices are perfect, MTG Asher. All right, so Armin Kett, Cancel. Bloodlust Insider, Fan Bearer. Pitiless Vizier, Spidery Grasp. Blazing Volley, Painful Lesson, Emberhorn Minotaur, Cradle of the Accursed, Floodwaters, and our Uncommon is a Warfire Javelinier. Time to Reflect, Crocker the Crossing, and Oketra the True Mythic! Woohoo! This is still pretty decent, isn't it? Like five bucks or ten bucks or something. We captured the true is going for ah yeah two ninety nine. It says on goldfish. So still, that's a nice pull, and oh, swamp and a skirmish token. 
All right. Well, I'm I'm happy with the method out of Arm and Cat. That's not bad. Oh, in foil at seven. Yeah, foil would be nice. Okay, next. Um, let's see. I'm just going to pick a 2014 core set. Um, yell out in the comments what you want to see next after this one. So 2014 core set. <clears throat> we have a Suntail Hawk, Zephyr Charge, Undead Minotaur, Pitchburn Devils, Vile Rebirth. And we're getting some votes for the lottery cards, okay? So that'll be next then. Uh, let's say, let's do an Ether Revolt next. Oh, sorry. Oh, Kaladesh, okay. We'll do a Kaladesh after this. Uh, Messenger Drake, Act of Treason, Giant Growth, Tome Scour, Charging Griffin, and an Uncommon is a Fire Shrieker. How'd you like to have one of those? Whoa. Bramble Crush, Battle Sliver. For all you Sliver fans out there. And Colonian Hydra Mythic. Woohoo! Okay, Colonian Hydra. Colonian Hydra, this is M14. 597. That's pretty decent. Okay, so that was a good pull. That pack was worth it. Next up, we're going to do Kaladesh. Okay, we've got a lot of prices coming in. So that uh, Colonian Hydra is all over the map, but it sounds like, yeah, like about five bucks or so. Built to Smash. Kaladesh, Acrobatic Maneuver, Nimble Innovator, Hijack, Wily Bandar, what on earth is a cat monkey? That is a cat monkey, okay. Subtle Strike, a tune with Ether. I use this one nearly every week with my energy deck. Dakara Scavenger, Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot, Pima Outrider, and uh, Uncommon here is an Unlicensed Disintegration. Uh, Self-explanatory, yeah, it's a cat, it's a monkey, it's a cat monkey. Demolition Stomper, oh, 10, 7, really? Okay, anybody use this vehicle? That looks pretty beefy. Uh, Girapur Guide. Come on, lottery. Come on, lottery. If the Flux Reservoir. Woohoo. Okay, another. What is this? You cast the spell, you gain one life for each spell you've cast this turn, or you can pay 50 life. If the Flux Reservoir deals 50 damage to target creature or player. So around the time. I first started playing, I was hit by one of these, and I was like, what the heck is this? 50 life, 50 damage. I didn't even know you could get beyond 20, so that was a, a real eye-opener. Okay, so it's pretty much worthless. All right. And a construct. Yep, so we're talking, what, 50-odd cents on that one? All right. Never mind. We will pull something good. We still have a pile of lottery cards. I'm going to do a journey into Nyx. Or should I do Theros? These are from the same block. So Ben says Oath. So I'll do Oath after one of these. And incidentally, um, this will be the next block that I'll be doing in the snacks. 
Wood says uh, Oath. Theros. Okay, so Oath will be after Theros. Okay, this is all new to me, so bear with me. Nylea's Presence. Fleet for the Sandals. Demolish. Death Bellow Raider. Um, yeah, median prices are good. If you can get median or TCG Mid, I think, is the one I usually use. Uh, Borderland Minotaur. you got to have a Minotaur in the Greek set. Spark Jolt. Return Phalanx. Coastline Chimera. Farika's Cure. Defend the Hearth. And uh, uncommon here, so we're saying Lotto Card for Theros is Perforos, so that'd be nice if we get one of those. Uh, Mogis's Marauder is our uncommon. Horizon Chimera. Cutthroat Maneuver. Boon Satyr. All right. So, he is probably, what are we looking at? <laughs> yeah, he's 35 cents. Somebody says 67. Yeah, so not a big hit, but, <laughs> but we do get a boar. That looks more like a, just a normal farm pig to me than a boar, but anyway. Okay, <clears throat> now we had some clamoring for some lottery cards. Uh, we could get an expedition out of Oath. Yeah, I think the pig is the highlight out of that pack. I'd rather have the pig than the satyr. Okay, so from Oath of the Gatewatch, we have Cultivated Drone, Brute Strength, Aphra Protector, Witness the End. Is this some Eldrazi stuff going on? Interesting. Ulamog stood before us at Seagate, ready to succumb, and then Kozalek arose. Whatever hope I had for our world died. Vandri Calestria Emissary. Okay, so I'm um, guessing that is the uh, Eldrazi. Netcaster Spider. Stalking Drone, Cinder Hellion, a Wastes, is that normal to get a land in the middle? Joa Isle Avenger, Sphinx, Warden of Geometries, okay, it is apparently normal to get a land in the middle. Uh, Uncommon is a Seed Guardian. Ruin in their wake. Mind Melter. What's it going to be? What's going to be? Oath of Jace is the rare. All right. Oath of Jace. He comes to. He's 39 cents. Blech. Okay. Sorry, buddy. All right. And a mountain and an elemental. Yeah, this one's for you, Jay Shing. Oath of Jace. Okay, next up. I'm going to do an Eldritch Moon just because. If you missed the Halloween special, I did a whole booster box of this. There was also a wonderful face reveal at the end, so you might want to check that out if you haven't already. Ben says dragons. Okay, so where's dragons? We'll put that next up here. That'll be our next one. And Zendikar in honor of Summon. Okay, so let's do this. Zendikar. 
after dragons. Distemper of the blood, Eldritch Moon. Sigardian Priest, Bloodbriar, Wailing Ghoul. It's photogenic fellow. Woodland Patrol, Terrarian, Make Mischief, Faithbearer Paladin, Convolute, and Woot says Liliana the Last Hope is the best in the set, so I hope we uh, pull one of those. Repel the Abominable is an uncommon, Weaver of Lightning, Clear shot and Oath of Liliana. So we got a Liliana, but from what I recall, this was less than a dollar. Okay, let's see. Oath. Oath of Liliana comes to 35 cents. Woohoo! All right. And a, oh, this, okay, this is just a flip card. Midnight Scavengers flips into one of these meld cards. So we've got a half of an Eldrazi Horror. And here is an Eldrazi Horror. All right, so next, Dragons of Tarkir. We have a student of Ujutai, Kulligan Skirmisher, Kulligan Storm Singer, Negate, Ataka Afrit, Flatten, Elusive Spellfist, Herald of Dromoka, Airy Bowmasters, Uncommon we have is an Ataka Pamela, Draconic Roar, Ultimate Price, and, oh, let's see here, Haven of the Spirit Dragon is the rare. Haven of the Spirit Dragon, he's also in the Commander 2017. He goes for 96 cents. All right, so not too bad. And an inspiring cool foil. And a cool looking zombie. Zombie in armor. All right, let's move things around here. Um, next, in honor of the salmon, stubborn salmon, BFZ fan. See if we can get an expedition, that'd be nice. We have Myers Malice, Tajuru Stalwart, Clutch of Currents, Belligerent Whiptail, and we've got a vote for Origins, okay. Stonehaven Medic, Unnatural Aggression, that's pretty cool. Some uh, Eldrazi dude. Geyserfield Stalker. Cloud Manta. Sandstone Bridge. Tajuru Beastmaster. And uh, Uncommon is a Rising Miasma. Serene Steward. Retreat to Ameria and a planar outburst. Okay, what does a planar outburst go for these days? 35 cents. Yeah. All right. Oh, and a full art swamp. So that's pretty decent. And a plant. 
anyone attack people with their plants? Some one one. That seems a bit of a stretch. Okay, we had a vote for yeah, bulk pretty much. Origins. Let's open the origins. This is uh, what was this? Twenty sixteen. Is it cold there? I see you are shaking. Well, I have a bit of a natural tremor. So if you see some shaking going on, that is what it is. Um, okay, so Origins Catacomb Slug, Subterranean Scout. I also have a wobbly table. Oromancer, Touch of Moon Glove, Orchard Spirit, Negate. Unholy hunger. Is that a Liliana there? Some something weird going on in the background. And uh, let me know if anybody wants Jace to bless Pax. He's he's ready, willing, and able. Mantle of webs. Stalwart Avon. Guardian automaton. And uncommon is a Sphinx's tutelage. Thunderclap Wyvern. He's a cursor, yeah. Sometimes Jace curses us. Undercity Troll. And an Outland Colossus. Okay. Outland Colossus. 29 cents so definition of bulk forest okay so that was origins was origins the uh most recent corset like 2016 i think that's right okay what are we doing next i'm gonna do everybody's favorite and then i'm gonna have Jace, curse it, so it's even worse. We're gonna we're gonna really go to Hose Town on this one, and we've got to vote for Hour of Devastation. So let's let's do this one first. Dragon's Maze. Ben says no. Oh come on, Hose Town. Yeah, you want to see Hose Town? Go to that other video. Yep, so Hour of Dev will be after this. So Smelt Ward Gatekeepers. We need to get the bad taste out of our mouth after this. Steeple Rock, Mending Touch, Uncovered Clues, Golgari Clue Stone, Gruel Clue Stone. What other video, MTG Asher says? About, um, was it two weeks ago? I opened a whole box of Dragon's Maze and it was horrifying. And Heather says, How do I get into drawings for free cards? You don't. Um, maybe in the future, but yeah, it's a lot of logistics and yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, Dragon's Maze, uh, one way trip to Hose Town. Crypt Incursion, Opal Lake, Gatekeepers. Crawl Warrior, Wake the Reflections, and Uncommon is a Carnage Gladiator, Gleam of Battle, what is this, a Turn, Turn and Burn, that's what's going to happen to us, Turn and Burn, do, 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 Sire of Insanity. What was I thinking? I, sh I actually made a comment at the shop. I said to the guy, um, he was saying they have um, chaos drafts at the store sometimes. You just pick random packs, but nobody would pick Dragon's Maze. Yeah, 39 cents. And what are the comments doing? Yep. Okay. And a wrap. Dos Guild Gay. All right. Round of applause for Dragon's Maze. 
and a soldier token. This is the highlight of that pack. Okay. So let's put that behind us. Now, Heather was asking about giveaways. I don't give away random cards, but I have been doing giveaways. So after we open Hour of Devastation, I'll give you guys a peek at the next giveaway. Um, if you haven't entered already, um, let me see if I can grab it back here. So the current giveaway is a feline ferocity commander deck so this continues until next week so what is that i think it's the 18th so if you haven't entered the draw for that yet check it out um, us and canada only and you have to be 18 plus to enter that or have a parent's permission Somebody wants to see Mr. Bolus. Uh, let's see. So, out of devastation, we need Mr. Bolus. Paging Mr. Bolus. Mr. Bolus, where are you? Speak his name and he shall appear. So, he's going to give us, he's going to bless this pack. Or is he, I don't know if he's crapping on the pack or stamping on it. So, I have Devastation. Let's see if we can pull a Invitation. I think I may have pulled... I've opened a lot of Arrow of Devastation. I think I pulled one Invocation. We have Blur of Blades, Avon Reed Stalker, Mummy Paramount, Frontline Devastator, Ambuscade, Carrion Screecher, Ruin Rat, Steadfast Sentinel, Desert of the True, Life Goes On, uh, MTG Asher opened a Blood Moon at his FNM. Very cool. Was that a foil or a regular? Uh, Angel of the God Pharaoh, it's Uncommon, Supreme Will. This is okay in the. Um, if you're doing a control deck. Inferno Jet and Hour of Revelation. So this isn't the craziest hour. What do we got? A hour of Revelation goes for 74 cents. And Ben opened a Locust God Invocation an hour ago. Wow, congratulations. Uh, all right, sorry, no invocations in that lot. Okay, so for sticking around so long, I'll give you guys a peek of the next giveaway. You may be able to guess what it is. We have... We have a some sort of a box here. Do we have any guesses what that could be? Or a uh, let's do the top. We can mm, holiday gift box? No, I don't think that'd be much of a prize. Okay, here it is! Yay! Merfolk versus Goblins! Brand new! Fresh in the box. So I cracked one of these open on Friday. Picked up an extra one at the LGS today. So this will be the prize for the next giveaway. Stay tuned. Nicole Bolas can't believe it. Stay tuned for the video for that. That will probably be... Um, I'm thinking week and a half or two weeks, so I'll start that one. Um, we've got Thanksgiving coming up in the US, so that's going to interrupt plans a little. But yeah, this will be the next giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's see. What do we got? Uh, ben says, how about Nix? We're running low on packs here. This is all we've got left. So, journey into Nyx.
and we hope we get an Ajani out of this. Market Festival, Rotted Hulk, Hubris, Hubris, Pensive Minotaur. Hmm, okay, Pensive Minotaur. Interesting. Acroon Mastiff, Supply Line Cranes, Rise of Eagles, Satyr Grove Dancer, Font of Ire, Blood Crazed Hoplite. Thought that was a zombie for a second there. Golden Hide Ox is the uncommon knowledge and power. Pull from the deep. What's our rare going to be? Deicide. Okay. So that one, I'll pull that up, goes for 33 cents. Wah, wah. All right. Never mind. We can't all be winners. And a soldier token. Okay. So we're down to last few packs. I'm going to go for Gate Crash. And we have a vote for Shadow. So we'll do Shadows next. How about this? We'll do them in this order. We'll have Shadows, Ether Revolt, and Eternal Masters will be the finish. Okay, so we're opening right now Gate Crash. And this is in the same block as um, Dragon's Maze, so I don't know. Or is that um, the journey into next one? Okay, Cloud Fin Raptor. Aerial Maneuver. Spy, Spire Tracer. Shadow Slice. Ruination Worm. Shattering Blow. Kingpin's Pet. Mortis Strider. Furious Resistance, Forced Adaptation, Uncommon is Call of the Nightwing, Dying Wish, White of Precinct 6, and a Boros Reckoner is the rare. Okay, Boros Reckoner, he goes for... A dollar. One dollar even. So not bad. Not good, but not bad, because I think these packs were like four dollars each or something. Seems about right. Okay. Shadows up next. We have Press for Answers, Dauntless Cathar, and Woot MTG says this was very good back in the day, MTG Ashes, Shadows is when I returned. Yeah, it's a good set, Nagging Thoughts, Explosive Apparatus, Hound of the Farbogs, Ethereal Guidance, Howpack Wolf, Vessel of Nascency, Twins of Mora Estate, Vampire Twins, that's creepy. Uncommon is Gloom Widow, Broken Concentration. This is, this is what I looked like when I was opening Dragon's Maze, just ugh. Pack Guardian, and... Do, 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 traverse the Uvenwald. Traverse the Uvenwald. This is two bucks. Not bad. And a get stuff arsonists. This is a flip card. Flips into get stuff ravages. Well. And a cool looking zombie token creature. All 
right. Down to the last two packs. <clears throat> so, Ether Revolt. We're going to try to pull a lottery card out of this one. A invention would be nice. We have Audacious Infiltrator, Frontline Rebel, Metallic Rebuke, Resourceful Return. MTG Asher says, we need something. Yes, we do. For waiting around all this time, nearly an hour. You deserve a nice invention here. Druid of the Cow, Ali Strangler, Implement of Ferocity, Implement of Examination, Reservoir Walker, Destructive Tampering. Thanks for joining, Ben. Catch you later. Um, Ravenous Intruder is the uncommon. One of these gremlins. Freakish little dudes. Sly Requisitioner. Pacification Array. And Rishka's Expertise. And I somehow think that is not a money card. That is 58 cents. All right. An island. Okay, so no luck from there. But we have one pack. There's always hope as long as we've got one pack left. Eternal Masters. All right. Do, now, do we want this guy to bless the pack or do you want to keep him away? Do we have any votes for blessing the pack or getting the heck away from that? Hey, Fifth Moon. You arrived back just in time. So do you want Jace to bless this Eternal Masters pack? This is the final pack. He says bless the pack. Any others for blessing the pack? Okay, well, he's going to bless the pack. Okay, here we are. Bless the pack. Yeah, that pack is well and truly blessed. Okay, Eternal Masters. Um, would have been nice to get some Modern Masters, but the shop was all out. Normally they carry Modern Masters 2017, 2015, and Eternal Masters. Next week I'll be picking up my Iconic Masters booster box. I'll probably do a series of snacks on that. And somebody said, in the Gremlin card... There is a soul ring. Let me take a look at that. We had that gremlin. Where was that gremlin? Ether Revolt. Was he in uh, Kaladesh or Ether Revolt? Oh, here he is. Oh, I see. Yeah. So that's a soul ring. Thank you for that bit of information. I completely missed that. Okay, back to Eternal Masters. We have Wildfire Emissary. Benevolent Bodyguard. Silent Departure. Abundant Growth. Pacifism. Oh, come on. Blossoming Sands. Emperor Crocodile. He looks uh, more menacing than the crocodile in uh, Armandrette. Rugged Highlands. Reckless Charge. Eye Blight's Ending. Centaur Chieftain is an uncommon. Honden of Cleansing Fire. Quiet Speculation. Okay, let's have some speculation here. What's going to be in the rare slot? And we have Finn McLaughlin says, In the last week I've opened five packs and got an Invocation Force Will, Gideon of the Trials, and Nicol Bolas Godfaro. All right, congratulations. 
That's quite a nice set of pulls just from five packs. Holy cow. Okay, what's good in this set again? Good question. Um, there were some... Did we have any Planeswalkers in here? I've only opened one box and it was so long ago. Okay, Toxic Deluge. I'm going to say that was not good in this set. Somebody says Demonic Tutor. Uh, Eternal Masters, Toxic Deluge. Oh, that's not bad. $8.89. That's pretty decent. So I can't complain. These packs were about, um, what do they go for? $11 each. Um, you're better off buying a booster box, but um, I want to do one of everything. So, yeah, one of everything is pretty much the cost of a booster box, especially from uh, my LGS. So this one's pretty decent pull, I think. And a Soul of Cleansing foil. Just for grins, what does that go for? Soul of Cleansing. It doesn't go for anything. It's not so. Where are we? Oh, it's loading. So, oh, it's not coming up at all. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, so that's probably not a lot. And a zombie token. All right. So that's our big finish. Jace, buddy, what have you done? Yeah, somebody's saying, is, is it worth buying an hour of devastation box? Um, probably not. Um, Good Deeds says you'll lose so much money if you don't pull a Scarab God or Invocation. That's pretty much it. You'll probably do better um, than Armin Cat at this stage. But yeah, the value of those sets has completely tanked. Now, if you go with Ixalan, that might be better. They're holding the value, especially because they just came out. But uh, yeah. So this whole uh, opening packs thing is is a bit of a gamble i was just looking at the card quality here a bit of a bit of a bent card that's probably how i opened it but good deed says we should collab sometime we should it's a busy month coming up so on the channel um, oh, and in case anybody missed it, came in late, this will be the next giveaway. Merfolk versus Goblins. So that's coming up probably another couple of weeks. I'll um, announce that giveaway. Um, so what else do we have? Um, Iconic Masters is coming out next week. Not sure if we're going to be out of town, so I don't know if I'll be able to open it right away. i um, thinking of snacking on that just because it's um, so pricey. And Fifth Moon says, don't buy it. Um, I've already got a pre-order in, so I'll be getting at least one box. Um, if it is Total Hose Town, I will stay away. But yeah, I'm gonna, going to be snacking on that, I think, um, just because the boxes are so expensive. Um, we have From the Vault Transform. Not sure if... Oh, okay, Fifth Moon. He's clarified. Uh, he's talking about the Hour of Devastation box. Yeah. Under 85 bucks. It's probably, yeah, you'll probably get about $85 in value out of that if you uh, buy an Hour of Devastation. Oh, 185 Yeah. It's, um, my LGS is selling it for 200 
Um, so yeah, I'm just getting a box. If I get any other boxes, I'll be um, trying to get those cheaper because I've heard that the values of the boxes are tanking. People were doing fire sales on them. Um, so from the vault, not sure if our OGS will even have any of those. Um, I'll see. Might pick that up. Unstable coming out in December. Definitely picking up a box of that. Um, what's that? Uh, exp is it Explorers of Ixalan? Is that the new one? I'll probably give that a miss. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Sure about that one. Yeah, we've got a, a woo for Unstable. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Is Rivals the the new set that comes out in January, or is that the um, or is that Explorers? Just doing a little googling here. What is the next? So Rivals was. Okay, Rivals is the 2018 set. Okay, so what else does Wizards have here? Um, Magic the Gathering release. Oh, and Dominaria is next year. Looking forward to that. Um, and the 2019 core set. So coming soon, we have uh yeah explorers of ixalan was the the one in november <clears throat> and then they also have in march uh, masters 25. so i'm curious how that will do with iconic coming out so close yeah everybody's saying explorers is a board game yeah probably not going to get the explorers um and yeah, Ben, in case you missed it, I am planning to pick up a box of Iconic Masters. So um, if I'm not out of town, uh, I'll be picking that up on Friday during Friday Night Magic. I'm planning to snack on that. So you'll see some uh, snack videos where I'm chewing on that especially because the box is so expensive but yeah if i can get a cheaper box maybe i'll um get something like a do a booster box video or something and ashes drafting iconic masters yeah the um rlgs is doing a draft on that but i'm not sure if that'll fire or not depends how many masters um or modern players we have um because a lot of these weekend events don't fire <coughs> yep unstable is going to be fun all right so i'm about losing my voice um gonna wrap it up and we had a question on eternal masters soul of cleansing and toxic deluge so this one was about um eight or nine bucks i think yeah this video will be posting um once youtube processes it when it finishes uh finn mclaughlin do you own a store or do you just really really like to buy boosters no i do not own a store i'm one of those silly people who for your viewing entertainment like to open boxes of booster packs uh this the the whole reason for this channel um it's one of those things where i got into magic earlier this year i would open a booster box and then it's like it's over with and you pull a few good cards but you're like okay well uh that wasn't very satisfying let's open another one but i think um I've been for a while now, a couple of years, I've um, been wanting to do a YouTube channel. I did one, um, I had one video, I actually made a game a few years ago, an iOS game. Um, that's the only video on that channel. Um, but
but I was really struggling, like, what could I do for any length of time? And I figured when I got into magic, I'm like, you know what, I'd like to open some packs. And here we are. Um, hoping to keep the channel going a good while yet. Um, that channel is my secret name. Uh, you can figure that out if you go on Twitter, you look at who's following on here. And well done on pronouncing the surname. Yeah, I wasn't sure, but yeah, that's a good guess. Um, so yeah, people are asking for face reveal. You've seen the face, guys. This is the face, the only difference. Um, I mean, it depends if I'm wearing a mask. If I'm wearing a mask or have a horse head, um, there's also, so we've done a reveal. My This was my true face. I had some a short haircut. So if you haven't seen that in the last video, you will uh, see what I look like. I look exactly like Nicol Bolas. It's just, it's like looking into a mirror. Show the horse mask. Seriously. Okay. Well, all right. Well, it, you guys are clamoring for a face reveal. I will be back. And everyone's going, oh, what's going on? There's nobody here. Nothing's happening. Well, people have been looking for a face reveal. And I guess, I guess it's that time again. You will see my face. I don't know if you will. MTG Purple, yeah, I'm nearly done. But you're just in time for my true face reveal. I'm a man of many faces. If you've seen the faceless men in um, Game of Thrones, that's me. So my last face was Nicol Bolas and a bit of a short haircut on this fella. So that's what I look like. And we're doing the face reveal. So for all you people clamoring for that, here we go. Okay. Whoa. Hi, everybody. I'm an ugly fellow, aren't I? Sorry about that. So, <laughs> there you go. Face reveal. All right. Yeah, the hat really brings out my smile. Yeah. Bit tough with the severed neck, though. Very itchy. MTG Purple says a knee reveal. He has a need for knees. Well, I don't know if I can do that. That's, that's just, this is a family channel here. Um, no swearing, no knee reveals, no, I don't know what what things you're after mr purple but shins shins i i don't think shins now we can do a we can do a jace and you know things have degenerated when we start we, we get to the face reveal so holy cow we're over an hour on this stream already so if you've stuck around thank you thank you very much um next week stay tuned for iconic masters and mutilated sloth is back and you missed the face reveal so when this posts when youtube finally uploads it check it out 
it's it's a really i'm an ugly fellow um sometimes i look like this but yeah that i think that was my ugliest i, I think it's the lighting in this room sort of a little piggish and one final time the Murphy versus goblins is the next giveaway that's coming up in another couple of weeks so thank you for joining everyone and we'll wrap it up and yeah hope you enjoyed the stream one of everything whole stack of cards look at that all right See you next time.